Hello everybody, welcome back to some more game pile playing Fable of the Lost Chapters. We have just finished the arena and got told by a bandit that Teresa wants to meet us at the Grey House. But before we do that, we now have the champion seal. I want to quickly go to Ballastone South because we should now be able to go to Ballastone North. And in doing so, we can see the Grey Manor. We can also see the weapon shop that is up there, and I think there might be an armor shop as well, but that is not too relevant for us. So we should be able to come up here, we just show our seal. Oh, hello there. Oh yes, you're well known enough to come in. Or I guess we didn't need the seal, we could have just gone through anyway, but... As you can see on the map, there is one colored thing. North, hero. This is a quiet district, and we like to keep it that way. We don't tolerate uncivil behaviour here, so mind you don't end up in our holding cell. We have a raving lunatic locked up right now, but he won't be seeing many more sunrises, if you know what I mean. Now, Lady Grey desires to speak with you. You'll find her grace in the gardens outside of Mention. This is a great honour, even for a hero, so mind your manners. Okay, so Lady Grey wants to apparently talk to us, but first we're going to go into this shop, if it's still open. How may I help you today? And I want to see the price of the Solus great, great Sword, which should be here. But I also want to quickly check if uh, any, like, emeralds and rubies are here, because if we want to buy them for later, that's good. A health augmentation is here. That's always nice. And a Thunder Hero doll. We already own seven of those, so it doesn't actually matter too much. Clothing, I don't think there's anything particularly... Uh, interesting, except some bright will uh, robes. Other than that, yep, I think. Yep, we can get those from a demon door anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Ranged weapons, we'll go see that quickly. Master crossbow, don't really care about that. But as you can see, we can pick up from here the Solus Greatsword, which I am actually going to do because I love this weapon. Um, Okay, so we can't put it on yet, but this is generally the weapon I use 90% of the time anyway. Even later in the game, until like, the very end of the game, I'm pretty sure. Right, let's just talk to a few people around here, then we'll go talk to Teresa in uh, the Grey House. Or Grey, yeah, Grey House. Hello. Hmm. You know, a man of your status ought to pay a visit to the mayor. She lives in Bowerstone Manor, the big building over by the shop. Okay, she just tells us to go over there. This is the guy we talked about, the raving lunatic, apparently. Finally, someone to talk to. You've got to help me out. The mayor's having me executed. That's what happens when you start asking too many questions round here. That woman is a demon, but no one will believe me. Just because I was wrong about the guards controlling our dreams by spiking our water supplies. Her sister was an angel. Would have made a wonderful mayor. And I know Lady Grey killed her. I just know it. You have to help me prove it. Otherwise, Bowerstone will remain in her clutches, and I'll be executed. Uh, do you want to help the prisoner investigate the death of Lady Grey's sister? That's the good thing, so we're going to do it. Yes, finally. We're going to bring that crazy witch down. All you need to do is get her dead sister to tell you what really happened. Don't give me that look. We all know ghosts exist. You've seen them. I've seen them. We've all seen them. Lady Grey's sister, Amanda, had a sweetheart called Rodri. Nice guy. Usually hangs out in Barrowfields. If anyone knows how to entice her out of oblivion, it's him. Okay, so basically we're going to try and help Lady Grey get exposed pretty much for being evil. And to do that, I the reason I chose to do this is because both of them take place in... Uh, the Grey House. So we're gonna go to Barrow Fields. We need to talk to Rodri, I think his name was, and work out how to get uh, Lady Grey's sister, I think it was Amanda, basically back from the dead, because ghosts do exist, yeah. You know, we have, we've seen them. Well, we kind of seen them. There was one in Oakvale, but we didn't really uh, do much to that. But also while we're here, we're gonna put on the Solus Great Sword, which I think looks better as well than uh, the sentinels that we have on right now. It also has a, uh, as, you, as you can see, has a flame, health, and sharpening augmentation on it. So, uh, I was correct about the flame one, but I, uh, or health one, but I didn't, I thought we might have an experience one on it as well. We should also pick up that health augmentation that's in there sometime, but we'll do that later. 
Amanda. Yes, of course I knew her. I think about her all the time. She was so beautiful, so pure. She was afraid her sister would find out about us and use it against her, stop her from becoming mayor. I'm no noble after all. So we'd meet in secret in the grey house cellar. I would sneak out to the stables and flash my lamp three times to let her know I was there. One night, she didn't come out, and I found the cellar door locked. Her sister, Elvira, Lady Grey as she's now known, told me she had died of some terrible illness. Then the house was abandoned, and I never even got to... I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about. <laughs> Just walk away from him, yeah. Leave him. Uh, but basically, we need to flash our lamp three times. We have it in our hot bar, hot bar already, which is good. And she should appear. And we also... I don't know what's going to take up... I think we're going to have to talk to Teresa first. Most likely. So... You finally met Jack of Blades. I met him long ago, of course, when he burned down our home and cut out my eyes. But he wasn't lying when he said he knew where Mother was. He's kept her in Bargate Prison ever since the night of the raid. I haven't been able to get inside, but the archaeologist knows of an ancient secret passage. You've met him already, haven't you? Jack's creatures are still after him, just like they're after me. I can't stay here much longer. I've left the details in a quest card at the guild. You have to get Mother out. She's the only one who knows how to reach the sword. You did read the book I sent, didn't you? The sword is everything, and it could turn the world to nothing. Oh, and Mother has a gift for you too. More power than you can imagine. Alright then, so oh, we're, we're starting to get our halo, that's awesome, but while we're here we need to go back down uh, down here, let's get our sword out because there's so many of these undead here. Ah, oh, I misclicked, I meant to left click, I clicked right click instead, come on, can I take you out on one hit, is that good? Nope, I can't. The good thing about this, obviously, is it's got a health augmentation, so when we're actually battling, you know, we uh, we can take some hits and our health will regenerate pretty quickly, as you can see. Uh, you know, I don't think it regenerates passively, it only does with the health augmentation, which is good. But, let's just do this. Right, she's gone up to there, and a good thing I just remembered as well is, oh that XP orb disappeared, that there is a health potion, or an elixir of health, or whatever it's called, that will give us a higher max health. There is actually one of those in the cellar, which we came to originally, but it was locked, obviously. Rodri, is that you? I've waited for you so long and I... Wait, you're not Rodri. I prayed that he would rescue me, but he never came. When the air ran out, I closed my eyes and imagined I was dying in his arms. Now I'll never see him again. And my sister has taken everything. People must know the truth about her. Take this letter. Show the world what really happened. Right, so there's a chest down here. This should have the health elixir thing in it. Will Masters. Oh, okay, I was forgot about that. Let's just quickly take care of all the chests, or not chests, barrels down here. Some health potions. That's nice. Let's pick it up and. Oh, and a will potion as well. Scrawled parchment. So. 
So, now you know the truth. Amanda was a weak, romantic fool. She didn't have what it takes to run Bowerstone. She would have turned the whole place into an egalitarian slum. But don't worry your pretty head with such big words. We can still be together. You can still have me. Wouldn't you like to be mayor? Think of the power. It can all be yours. Just hand over the letter. Do you want to cover up the marry, murder and marry Lady Grey? No, we're not going to do that because that's the evil thing to do. What? No one refuses Lady Grey. No one. You're just like the rest of those imbeciles. Infecting my city with their petty little lives. Fine then. Tell everyone. Have your moment of glory. But I will return one day. And I will wash away all the filth with your blood. Remember that, hero. And with the flip of the switch, pretty much, she is now really evil. Uh, but uh, the problem now is that demon door that is here, we are no longer able to open that demon door because in order to do so, we have to marry Lady Grey. That is the only one we can do. I thought... There might be one that you could do, like an, uh, a good version, but having looked into it, there is no good alternative. So we've kind of, uh, unfortunately, not got a chance to do that anymore, but, you know, we're being good. And also, there is a problem where if we gave the letter away, we then have to prove ourselves, if I remember correctly, and defeat Thunder in a battle, and that would leave us, uh, lead us to a Silver Key area. However, now we can't do that, so we can't get to the Silver Key. However, on top of that, there is a way of actually getting to there using a little bit of a weird loadng situation. But I wonder Maybe what happens I if we talk to Rodri now. Into the sea. Now Amanda has spoken to you. The mayor's days are numbered. Okay, pretty simple. Right then, so uh, we're going to have to go to Bowerstone. I don't know who we give this to, but uh, we'll go to Bowerstone North, I'm assuming. Yep, investigate the mayor. Oh, we probably give it to the guard. That would make sense. Or the crazy guy. Let's talk to the crazy guy first, see what he has to say. The, another thing as well is I don't think we can go into the Bowerstone Manor as well, which has a silver key and a uh, sword in it. That might be worrying. Let's see if we can get in there first. That might be a good plan. Either that or we become... Maybe it becomes open after or we become mayor after because... There is a, a whole... It's quite a nice interior as well. It's kind of sad if we don't get to see it. Let's see if we can do that, though. No, we can't. But maybe we can after, because there is a silver key in there. Um, which would kind of suck if we couldn't get it. But there is ways of technically duplicating silver keys, so I would be able to, in theory, do that. If, uh, if need be. If uh, there is a key we can't get to. I think we only need 25 in total for all of them, and there's 30 in the game, so it shouldn't actually be too much of an issue. I was right. So she did kill her sister. Wow. I've never been right before. Eh, no one will call me Crazy Gethin after this. Lady Grey passed through here earlier, and it looked like she was leaving for good. Now, if you would just tell the sheriff to let me out, he might even have a reward for you. Unless he's secretly Jack of Blades in a cunning disguise. Yes, that would make sense. I'll have to tell everyone as soon as I'm free. Listen to I me. think you should just leave your conspiracy theories for the moment. You were right about one thing. Take the win. We'll give this to the sheriff, and hopefully that'll allow us to go in the manor. Unbelievable. So Gethin was right all along. Oh, I suppose we'd better release him. He'd better not start that nonsense about me spiking the water supply again, though. No? We'll have to find a new mayor, too. Huh. I don't suppose you'll be interested in the job. You have proved your worth after all. Do you want to become Mayor of Bowerstone? Yeah, let's do it.
And now we basically get to play Fable 2. Or was it Fable 3 that had all the decisions and money making things? I don't, I can't remember. But no, uh, we are now mayor. I don't think it's a good or evil decision if you do it. I think it's just a personal decision. Um, but we can now go in here. And uh, we get to enact all our policies and stuff. Or not really. We just get to have a nice little look around. And uh, there is a weapon in here and a key. If I remember correctly. There's also this really nice thing, which is why I really like this. It's a small building. Technically, but uh, it's not Lady Grey's bedroom anymore. It's mine. But we should... We have to get a silver key. And from this chest, we should have a weapon. The Katana Hiryu. Hiryu? Something like that. I don't think it's better than our Solus Greatsword. We will quickly check. No, nope, minus 100, and it also only has a flame and uh, sharpening, whereas this has flame sharpening and health on it. So, yeah, out with the old and with the new, I guess. We are now the mayor of Bowerstone, which is kind of cool, and we're <laughs> rarely going to be in Bowerstone North, because uh, I don't ever go here except from buying the Soldier's Great Sword and doing this quest and passing through. So, uh, probably spend most of the time in the south. So, that's, that's all right. But that's going to be it for today's episode. We uh, got to talk to Teresa, outed the mayor, became mayor, and got a new weapon, which is pretty fun. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.